Nå er det med en stor glede. Vi har sett så frem til dette besøket. Og vi har gleder, vi har vært i forventning, vi har tenkt at det blir veldig bra å få besøk av vår kjære ambassadør i Friisland. Så nå skal vi gi ordet til han, så ja, la oss gi en god klapp til Alon Rått. Vær så god. Og han blir tolket av Madsen fra Flekkefjord. Innleid. Ja. You know, when diplomats are saying Du vet når diplomater sier That they are moved At de er beveget That they have something that is moving in their heart At det er noe som rører seg i hjertet You should put a big question mark Ja, da kan du se litt spørsmål på det Sometimes, you know, you should look whether this is what they feel Ja, noen ganger så kan vi lure på hva de egentlig føler I assure you jeg vil forsikre deg om at right now this is what I feel. Akkurat det er dette som jeg føler nå. And I'm an engineer. Og jeg er ingeniør. I have to put facts near my words. Jeg må sette fakta ved mitt arbeid. I have to prove that I'm saying the truth. Jeg må bevise at jeg taler sant. So I will prove. Så jeg vil bevise. First of all to see you all here. Først og fremst for å se alle dere her. Is my honor. Det er min ære is my unbelievable belief in happiness. Det er en utrolig glede å være her. And you don't imagine og du kan ikke forestille deg how good it is to see so many friends. Hvor godt det er å se så mange venner. Can I say a family? Kan jeg se en familie? Because this is how I feel. For det er sånn jeg føler. Thank you. And why do I feel this is a family gathering? Oh, hvorfor føler jeg at det er en familiesamling? Because my late grandmother who came from Hungary uh, For the min uh, avdøde bestemor som kom fra uh, Ungarn She was a holocaust survivor Hun var en holocaust overlever Every Friday evening Hver fredag kveld Used to light these candles Så tente hun Shabbat Lysa And to say the same prayer you've just said Og sa akkurat den samme bønn And blessing the whole family Og hun velsigner hele familien And my other grandfather and grandmother Og mine andre besteforeldre Who came before this cursed war Som kom før denne fele krigen Spoke Polish de var polske. The language we just heard from this wonderful singer here. Ja, det var språket som vi hørte akkurat fra denne fantastiske sangeren. Not to mention, for ikke å nevne, The Menorah, The Magen David, The Flag of Israel, Of Israels flag. You don't understand what it makes for a young, still young, Israeli diplomat. Du kan kanskje ikke forestille deg hva det egentlig betyr for en ung israelsk diplomat. It's really a feeling of a family. Åh, det er en familiefølelse, virkelig. But there were some Norwegian aspects here that I loved a lot. Men det var mange fine norske aspekter som jeg også satte stor pris på. Many, many years ago, mange år siden, I was here in Norway. Var jeg her i Norge? And it was the first time I heard og det var første gang jeg hørte Per Gunt. And more than that. Og enda mer. And I will say it very shortly. Og jeg vil si ganske kort. I don't have to tell you what's the influence. Og jeg vil ikke fortelle deg hva som denne inspirerte eller influerte. Of listening to Solveig's song. Og høre på Solveig's sang. That he sang especially for you. Som hun sang spesielt for meg. And I stop here. Og jeg stopper her. In order not to put too much personal feelings for ich ja olega for mir personliche fühlse ide but listening to it moved something in my heart and remind me many many years ago man for a little today so bewega den nu i mit hjerte og brakte minner tilbake for mange år siden and for this i'm thankful as well og for det er jeg jo takknemlig but permit me to speak on other things as well men tillat meg nå også snakke også om andre ting And as was mentioned here, som det ble her nevnt, 
We are going to have elections in Israel on the 9th of April. Vi ska ha valg i Israel nu på 9 april. But on the 11th of April. Men den 11 april. Something very interesting is going to happen. Då är det nog väldigt spännande som ska ske. Does anyone know what's going to happen on the 11th uh, of April at 11 p.m. at night? Är det någon som vet vad som ska ske 11 april klockan 11 på kvällen? No. No, Eurovision is still long far away. An Israeli satellite. En israelsk satellit is going to land on the moon. Ska landa på månen. A very small one. En, en ganska liten. Something like um, I don't know, laundry machine. Och som en uh, som vaskemaskin. But we are going to be the fourth country in the world. Men vi blir det fjärde landet i världen. That is landing a spacecraft on the moon. Som landar The United States, Russia, China, and maybe yeah. Israel. Yeah. USA, Russland, China, or sanctionivis Israel. Why am I saying this? Wofor sie det? Not just in order to tell you how happy I am and how proud I am that this is what my country can do. Ich är bara för att visa hur stolt och glad jag är för vad mitt land klarar och får till. But more than that, it shows something that is even deeper. Men ännu mer, det visar nämligen något som är ännu djupare. Because this satellite is not a government satellite. För den här satelliten tillhörer inte regeringen. It was born four years ago. Then was umfang uh, for four years ago. By three young Israelis. There were three young Israelis who sat in the pub. Who sat in the pub. I'm afraid they drank a bit too much. Yeah, they drank a little too much. And they said, "Yes, we are going to land a satellite on the moon." And they said, "Yeah, we are going to land a satellite on the moon." And it's going to happen in five days. And it's going to happen in five days. And the money is not governmental money. Or pengar är inte problem. It was financed. Less than 30 percent of the finance came from the government. Ja, mindre än 30 percent kom från regeringen. It was people like you and me. Det var det var människor som vi. And one millionaire that decided that they're going to put money inside. Plus en miljonär som bestämde sig för att lägga in några pengar. And it cost a fraction of what it cost the other three big countries. Or they cost a bar in Brüxel, or they cost all the other nations. And the technology is totally different than what they used. Or technology, technology is altogether different than what they used. And the problems are still big. Or the problems are are still big. Are still big. Or you are the frontiers store. Lots of technical questions. Yeah, many technical questions. But if everything will go right, men om allt går efter plan, we are going to land a satellite on the moon in few days' time. Så ska vi landa en satellit på månen om någon få dagar. And this is good spa. Och detta är det vi tänker. I hope you know what good spa. I hope you know what good spa. Well, I will translate it. Jag ska översätta det. In saying whatever is impossible. Det betyder att var en som är umulig. Whatever the others are telling us, no, no, you cannot do that. Var de andra säger nej, det är gör inte an. We say okay, so we will try. Ja, ja, så prov. Sometimes it doesn't work. Är nu en gång så gott. I don't want to leave the feeling as if everything we do is possible. Ja, jag vill inte ge intryck av att vi får till absolut allt. But we are not afraid from doing it. Men vi är inte rädda för att prova och göra det. And permit me to link it to something that is happening in three weeks' time. Ja, låt mig lägga en link till det som ska ske nu om tre veckors tid. Easter, Pasca. Passover, Pesca. A whole people of slaves, a whole nation of men, is coming out of Egypt. Drew out from Egypt. Chased out of Egypt. They were jagged out of Egypt. That wants to kill them. They want to kill them. And they say it's okay. We will pass the desert. Yeah, it goes well, but we come through the mountains. And we will build the country. Who of us would have put money on this 
project. Hvem av oss hadde satt penger på sånne prosjekt? Who of us would believe that this is feasible? Ja, hvem hadde trodd at det i det hele tatt var mulig? Still it happened. Men det skjedde. They created the country. De skapte landet. The country of Israel of those times. Ja, Israel slik det var den gang. And we are doing the same thing today. Or me, you're the same Iraq. You know it. Some of you saw the early days of this. Yeah, no one had ever seen it. No one had ever seen the Israel sons of the battle. And look what we have created. Or see what has been built. We have created an economy. We have created an economy. We have created innovation. Innovation. I'm just coming now from the University of Christiansand. I come out from Christiansand University, and I've done there something I've done with many other universities well, here in Norway already. They have done it. They have done it there. They have done it with many other universities. Inviting them to participate in the innovation projects that we have in Israel. They have invited them to come and be part of the innovation projects. Not just a satellite. Yeah, it's not just a satellite. The systems that you have in your Tesla cars in order to look forward. Yeah, systems and so fancy Tesla vehicles from over. Lots of items you have in a hospital. Many of them you have in sickhouses. The chips, the small chips that you have in the mobile phone in the computers. The small chips that we have in the mobile telephone. Etc. 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 Or so on. Or so on. Are made in Israel. They are made in Israel. Country of refugees, yeah, from from asylseekers who crossed again the desert seventy years ago. So many men crossed the ocean for seventy years ago and created the Gaza State. Oh, scrapped the Gaza State. Unfortunately, this way we don't see much of it in the media. We see a little bit of this in the media. You will not see much of it in the media. Or you will not come to see much of it in the media. For example, you will not see the what we do in culture. Or you will, for example, not see what we do in culture. But five weeks ago, man, for a few weeks ago, an Israeli movie won the Berlin Film Festival. Da var der en israeler som vant i Berlin Festival. A week later, a week later, an Israeli film won the Oscar for the short films. Ja, en israelsk film vant Oscar for kort film. I don't have to tell you that we won the Eurovision. Eh, behøver ikke fortælle at vi vant Eurovision. What I want to say, it's not just a good army. Men jeg vil ikke bare si at det er den gode herren. It's not just good economy and good innovation. Det er ikke bare den gode økonomi og innovasjon. It's not just agricultural techniques that enables us to have the sweetest tomatoes in the desert. Det er ikke bare jordbrukskulturen som gjør at vi har de søteste tomatene. It's culture as well. It's movies. It's films. Det er film. It's theater. Theater. All of this exists in Israel. All that exists in Israel. Unfortunately, again, this is not shown in the media. When the Swedish services I see that in media. I didn't see it in the Norwegian media. I have not seen it in Norsk media. And I don't see any reference to the fact that, in the end, we are a democracy. Oh, I see here that I that it is referred or told that we are actually a democracy. Permit me to say the only democracy in our region. Well, let me go back and say that we are actually the only democracy in the world still. In a region in which a country kills six hundred thousand or even seven hundred thousand. Of its own citizens. There, there, between six and seven hundred thousand citizens are killed in the surrounding land. In a region in which chemical weapons are being used almost every week. Yeah, every one of the weeks there are weapons being used. In a region in which, in a region in which you don't have open, free. Elections. This is a region where you don't find open, free voting. In a region, if you are in which, if you are a free journalist with a free spirit, a visto do a free journalist or a free on, you have great chances of entering the prison. And there are you store possibilities for a have any thanks. In a region in which minorities have no rights. This is a region where minorities have no rights. 
in a region in which the only country in which the number of Christians is going up is Israel. Ja. Uh, I denne region er det bare i Israel at, nam, uh, at uh, tallet på kristne er på vei opp. In a region in which instead of putting money into innovation, into science, into education, det er en region der i stedet for å så legge penger i utdanning og i kultur og innovasjon, countries put more and more money into rockets and missiles and bombs and chemical weapons. Så legger disse nasjonene pengene sine i våpen, i bomber og i raketter og i kjemiske våpen. In such a region, it's very difficult I en sånn region er det vanskelig to be what we are. til å være det vi er. We don't have very democratic neighbors. Vi har ikke demokratiske naboer. And still on the 9th of April, Men på den 9. april Israel is going to be uh, again going to the ballots in a democratic election. Så ska Israel igen gå till valgörnan för att utföra, för att genomföra en demokratisk val. This is not something that is easy or understood in the Middle East. Och detta är något som inte är lätt att förstå ellers i Mellanöstern. But again we don't see any mention for it unfortunately in the media. Men dessvärre igen så hör vi ingenting om detta i västlig media. We don't see a mentioning that Israel is still under existential threat. Vi ser heller ikke at Israel eller eh, er fortsatt under en eksistensiell trussel. There is not even one week. Der er, er ikke en uke i gang. In which we don't hear Iran threatening Israel by annihilation. Så vi ikke hører det at Iran er ute etter å ville utslette Israel. They tell us we will efface you from the, from the face of earth. De sier vi skal slette dere ut fra jordens overflate. We have an organization in the north of Israel. Vi har en organisasjon i nord i Israel. Called Hezbollah. Called Hezbollah. That has one 130,000 rockets and missiles. Som har 130,000 raketter og missiler. Norge is a member of NATO. Norge er jo NATO-medlem. I don't think that many NATO countries have 130,000 rockets and missiles. Jeg tror ikke at det er så mange NATO-land som har 130,000 raketter og missiler. This is what we have on our northern border. Det er dette vi har bare på nordflanken, nordre grenser. On our southern border, in den sydlige grensa, we have an organization called Hamas. Der er der en organisation som heter Hamas. Any connection between Hamas and democracy and human rights and minority rights is imaginary. Der er ingen forbindelse mellem Hamas og demokrati og menneskerettigheder. It's science fiction. Det er uh, fiktion. But the 30,000 rockets that Hamas sent to Israel in the last nine years. Men uh, de 30,000 raketter som Hamas har sendt over grenser til Israel gjennom de siste uh, five years? In nine years. N ni år. 1,200, more than 1,200 only in the last year. Uh, over 1,200 bare det siste året. This is not science fiction. Og dette er ikke... Uh, um, fiction. This is really, really a threat. Dette er en virkelig trussel. We just had an example a few days ago. Vi hadde et eksempel for noen dager siden. In which a house in Israel was Israel. bombed with a Hamas missile. Som ble truffet og bombet av en Hamas rakett. At 5.30 in the morning, fem, morning, when the whole family of six people, the in family for six, including babies, uh, included small bar, was asleep. Low soft. And just because every Israeli family has in their house a, a fortified room, a room, a room that has walls like this of very strong concrete cement. Uh, a room that of very solid wagger. 
And the father was able to take the family into this room. Och faren klarte att få familjen in i detta rum. This is why you didn't hear about a whole Israeli family that died, but about two people that were injured. Ja, det var därför du inte hörte om en hel familj som döde, men du hörte om två som har blivit skadade. And the reason that the 30,000 rockets in the nine years didn't yield so many casualties. Och grunden till att de 30,000 raketerna i löper de nio inte dräpte så många israeler. Is because Israeli engineers. Eh, för de uh, israeliska ingenjörer. Built the only system in the world that can intercept missiles. Eh, har byggt det ena s- s- systemet i världen som kan uh, som kan ta emot. Dessa här och förhindra att bomben ska slå ned. With billions of dollars. Men det kostar miljarder av dollar. Because we want to defend ourselves. För vi vill beskytta oss själva. We are a country of people who want to live. Vi är en nation av människor som önskar att leva. Who want to create. Som önskar att skapa. Who want to have this wonderful life as you have in this wonderful region. Ja, som önskar att ha det samma fantastiska vänunderliga livet som du har här i denna region. In a very, very problematic and difficult part of the world. I en väldigt, väldigt vanskelig och problematisk del av världen. But again, you don't see much of it in the media. Igen så ser du inte mycket av detta i västlig media. And this is why. Och detta är för dig. Myth and you. Myth or docker. Myth is in the end a big organization. A, a myth and a stor organization. But each one of you is individual. Men var enkelt att docka är en individ. And this is why it is so important that so many individuals like you and others in this wonderful country. Och det är därför är det att var enkelt att docka är med i i denna regionen are ready to raise their hands and their mouth. Är redo till både att resa sig upp, resa hand och och snacka ut. And to tell the real story. Och fortälla den rätta den rätta historien. And I think that there is a huge importance of telling this story. Och jag tror det är en stor det är väldigt viktigt att fortälla den här historien. Because unfortunately we hear more and more for the swear as a hörer vi bara mer och mer of those who want to advance boycotts for these som önskar och främmer boycott of those who portray Israel as an evil country for these som framstill Israel som ett ett ont land i wonder by the way it it wonders for us if we are talking about values om vi egentligen snackar om värderingar a country like Norway that has such advanced values. Uh, et land som Norge har så uh, avancerade värderingar. Human rights, democracy, pre- free press, right of minorities. Ja, uh, många mänskliga och, och, och pressfrihet och talfrihet och så vidare. When they look, when you look on the Middle East, när du ser på Mellanöstern. Who is the country who is closest to you? Uh, vilket land är det då som är närmast Norge? Israel or the others? Israel eller de andra? Values wise. Ja, när det gäller värderingar. And this is what I am very humbly asking you to do. Och det är detta som jag ber uh, utmykt till dock om att göra. I can do it in so so English. Uh, jag kan göra det så so, så so engelsk. But you can do it in very good Norwegian. Men du kan göra det i med väldigt gott norsk. Please do it. Ja, var så snäll och gör det. Please tell the story of what is Israel. Ja, var så snäll och fortell det som är Israels historia. Please put forward these list of values that we are fighting so hard to keep in the heart of this very troubled region. Var med oss att lägga fram den här lista av värderingar som vi arbetar så hårt för att så virka fram. Please help us to make cooperation. Hjälp och att lägga samarbete instead of boycotts. Istället för boycott. And I think that all of us will win-win from that. Och jag tror faktiskt att detta är en win-win situation. Mr. Mayor, you said that you have never been to Israel. Borger, men att du sa att du har aldrig varit i Israel. There is now a wonderful Norwegian flight to Israel. Nu är det ett fint fly, norsk fly som drar till Israel. Four and a half hours, and you land in Tel Aviv. We are happy in Tel Aviv.
just don't forget to make a sandwich at home because they don't give it. <laughs> uh, I suppose, I'm a nista for the fortunista. I like to cook, so I have no problem. I like to cook, I like to so I have no problem. Please take your friends with you. Yeah, what are the friends with you? Take one, two friends, go to Israel. Yeah, to Israel. Show them. Visti. Not just the borders and the political issues that I have to speak about. Ich about the grands and the political things that I must not go. Not the Hezbollah or Hamas or other problems. Ich that you Hezbollah have. Or, or Hamas or the other problems. Show them the normal life in Tel Aviv. Visti the normal life in Tel Aviv. Show them the beauty of Jerusalem in which three religions are living together. Wie die dann schön hätten zum Ehre in Jerusalem, der drei religiöse Wertensreligionen kann leben sein. Show them the youngsters from Israel and from other countries in the world that are coming to do innovation etc and to go to the beach to enjoy. Ja, wie ist die Ungdomen zum kommen zu Israel vor jenen für Innovation und samtidig so dra die über Strand vor hatte find. Show them how we created and still create. <coughs> Uh, wie ist die Osten, wie hat es gehabt und fortsetzt es gehabt? Ein normales Land, wie like yours. Ein normales Land, San Sondokas. Mit vielen Problemen. Wir haben viele Probleme. Externally, internally. Ja, wir haben äh, Ütwendig und Inwendig. Die Leute sagen mir, wir müssen dich kritisieren. Die Leute sagen, wir müssen dich kritisieren. Und ich sage ihnen, du you kannst know, you cannot. Und ich sage, weißt du, du, du kannst nicht da sein. You should open an Israeli newspaper in the internet. Ja, du skal åbne en israelsk avis på internet. In English. I det på engelsk. And then you will see how we criticize ourselves. Og du kan se hvordan vi kritiserer vores okkasjøl. You can never reach this degree. Og du kan aldrig klare å kritisere så mye som vi gjør. Because you are very polite, we are not. Ja, for dere er veldig høflige, men vi er ikke høflige. Not even towards ourselves. Ja, ikke mot okkasjøl i gang. So we are not afraid from criticism. We are afraid of critique. More than that, we believe in criticism. And no matter, we throw facts for critique. You know, like Norway, and I liked very much to see. But we like Norway, or we like very much to see. In Israel, the differences are almost like this. Yeah, in Israel, so are differences on the front line. When I was an officer in the army, I was an officer in the army. I had my soldiers telling me, "No, alone, you are totally wrong." Yeah, there were the soldiers who said, "No, alone, you have done it wrong." That was okay. Oh, that was okay. That's the way to do things. 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 That's the way to But if it's only criticism, and if they barely be critical, and if people don't see the beauty of the things we are doing, or if the man does not see the beauty of the things we are doing, something is wrong. Do I know God? I served in Cameroon in my first mission abroad. I served in Cameroon in my first overseas job. I worked there a lot in aid. I worked a lot with with help aid. We helped especially in agriculture. Me help special for the help of land work. When desert was coming down and covering the north of Cameroon. No, Erkan came near and began to dig the north northern of Cameroon. In Nigeria. Oh, Nigeria. We taught them our systems that worked in our desert. Yeah, they taught them and learned the systems that we used in our Erkan. The systems of computerized drip irrigation. Also, the EU computer steered irrigation, also running. Saved thousands and thousands of African farmers. They read a fact is thousands of these Africans get burned. No one talks about it. But England snuck on it. Unfortunately, Norway and Israel don't cooperate on this. This way, so samarbeid ich in Norge or Israel on. But we will do it in the future. Men, we hope we are doing it. So bring your friends and show them Tel Aviv and Jerusalem and the Israeli desert. Or take me to the Vienna or visit Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or the Israeli desert. One good visit with you hand in hand. Ein et godt besøg. Det du går hånd i hånd. Is much better than three three speeches by the ambassador. Er det mye bedre end tre taler af ambassadøren? And you know, I think that my speeches are excellent. Og han, og jeg synes mine taler er 
Italy. <laughs> so I really thank you for being members of me. For tusen tack för att också medlemmar i mig. I really thank you for the joy, for the happiness, for the courage that you give me as an ambassador when I see this, when I see you. Og tak for den glæden og den mod, du giver mig, når jeg ser alt dette. You know, even though we Israelis are very tough. Uh, du vet, vi Israeler vi er nok så tøffe. It's so nice to feel that someone hugs you and someone feels friendship to Men you. så er det godt at kende, at der er nogen, som omfavner dig og viser dig venskab. So I really thank you for this and God bless you. Ja, så jeg siger tusind tak og Gud velsigne dig. Okay? Thank you.